Okay, so I went to the Dollar Tree, and in today's video, it's all about decorating on a buck. So, um, some stuff I did pick up at Home Goods, which was what we're gonna dazzle up for a buck. But um, I'm just gonna show you some stuff, the supplies that I got, and I'm gonna tell you the ideas. I just picked up some tubu bowls. They come in all different colors at the Dollar Tree, and they have glitter, and they're all bling blinged up, and they come in silver and red, or just all green, or, but I got a mixture. And then they sell this cute mesh, decorative mesh. I picked up silver and red. I already started crafting with the red because I want to show you what you can make with it. And then I picked up some silver ribbon there for a dollar. And I got some cute uh, Christmas tree ornaments that I'm going to do some stuff with. And I got them in little gold uh, pine cones, all glitzed up. And I think I got little red ones. And I thought these were real cute. And I, I gotta see how it works. It's a motion sensing bird ornament. It's cardinal. And in my house, we just love birds. In the background, you'll hear all my birds talking. Um, it's morning and they're very vocal. I don't see what this does. I don't know, I may have to play with it. make some sounds. Okay, then I got some red and white wire ribbon. I got another one if that one doesn't work. Um, I have another one here. There's instructions on the back. Yeah. My son's going to try to get it working. If not, I can exchange it or hold on to the packaging. Um, then I picked up some cute litter trees. I think I'm just going to hang them right in the window with suction cups from the Dollar Tree. Um, or I may make them stand up like on the mantle or something, but we'll figure out a project and I will post the video later to show you. Then I bought this dancing solar turkey only because my brother got me started on these and I have a collection going. So it was cute. I thought it's cute to put on my little windowsill in my kitchen. Then, you know, you always need gift bags. I'm working on some Christmas projects and I want to wrap them real pretty and put it in the bag. Um, then I picked up some cute tinsel silver trees. I'm working on a project on my mother's mantle and uh, we're doing a silver theme this year in her house, silver and purple. So when I do decorate the mantle, I will show you how I incorporated these $1 tinsel trees um, into the decor. Then I picked up these cute um, wired tinsel garland um, candy canes. And I usually hang big wreaths from my front windows. I'm not sure if I'm going to just put these in the two front windows, but I will post a video with what I do with it. Okay, then um, I picked up these cute little boxes from the Dollar Tree. You actually got uh, two on a hook, um, but I used one in a project that I'm going to show you what I did with it. That's the other one. Then the Dollar Tree had these cute little clip-on bird flower things with, and they're all glitzed up with glitter and pine cones. I'm going to show you how I used them in the project. And then they had these cute little um, little sprigs of berries with glitter. Oh, he got the bird working. And garland. And I'm going to show you how I use these in the project. You get two of them on a hook for a dollar. And then I picked up some more of these because we've been working on making Christmas balls. And these are these new little um, uh, glitter, like they look like gems. And they just stick on and they're really cute. And it adds a little bling and sparkle to your projects. And while I was there, I picked up some light bulbs because, you know, 
with this powder and we use it on our more lamps. And I picked up some picture hooks because I've been buying some pictures at the Dollar Tree and I needed to hang them up. Another good thing you should always check out their makeup section. Not all their makeup is good, but I bought this one last week, this LA Color Eyeliner. No sharpening needed. It's awesome and it's only a buck. I can't believe I never tried this before. So I will be, every time I go, buying one of these. And then I picked up something because I'm going to be working on some more projects. And this one is just a mirror from the Dollar Tree. I ordered some uh, rhinestone ribbon that I'm going to put all along the edge and I'm going to make it a vanity tray. Yes, my daughter is very glitzy and likes everything bedazzled out. So I will show you that when I finish it. And then I bought this silver tray and the Dollar Tree. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to put the rhinestone ribbon all around it and I'm going to make this a serving tray for the American Girl dolls. So I'll show you that. And let me just show you some of the projects that I did start so you can get an idea of what I'm doing. You take this mesh stuff and there's a lot of videos on YouTube showing you how to make bows out of it. So I followed the video and I just made this cute little bow and then in the center you just attach one of these cute little hooks when you're done and see how it starts to add together and you got yourself a nice little decorative bow and it didn't cost you anything. Really? Okay, so these are these new jars that everybody's into. They years ago they were real big and they're coming back in style again. I did pay $12.99 for the tall one and $9.99 for the, the one without the pedestal at Home Goods. But all I'm doing is simply adding just some balls randomly placed in there. And then I attach the ribbon to the lid and I put the present in there and the sprig of the little spray of um, twig thing of the berries and the, the uh, evergreen. And you just put it in the bowl and the, there's a word for this and I always pronounce it wrong. It's like atropathy or atropy or some kind of jar. I know I'm saying it wrong, my mom's gonna yell at me. I really don't remember how to say it. But anyway, these are these fancy jars that everybody's using that years ago they were in style and they came back. This one I'm not finished, she dad one, but you know, all you do is you just take some stuff you pick up from the Dollar Tree and you just randomly, you know, place it in. And it just gives it that little cute whimsy look now just put them in. I want to put that one down. They all have to fix that. But uh, that's what I'm going to do. And then you add some of the, there's my little ornament bowl. You know, you just put it in. And it's real cute. You just drop them in, fill up the spaces. with it until you find the right look that you want and then put the lid back on and then you would sorry you got the background noise you would just attach the bow and then the last thing you would do is attach the cute little cute little thing here and what I do is I just attach another piece of ribbon to the back and I hot glued it. I have to get my glue gun back out. And then I tied it. And then there you go. You have a beautiful <coughs> jar. Oh, sorry about that. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how I'm going to be putting them on my fireplace mantle or just around on some of the furniture throughout the home. And it's going to be real cute. And the good thing is these jars, then you just empty it out. And come the next season, Easter, Valentine's Day, you can fill it with the cheap decor from the Dollar Tree 
to oh, after my dogs getting noisy. I think I'll end this video now, and I will be putting links to the other videos when I create the actual uh, finished craft, and I will show you also how I play them throughout my home. Please subscribe to uh, my channel and watch my further videos. I'll be showing you how to save some money this holiday season on decorating and shopping. Thank you.